mm -hmm. what it entails like how you can earn money after earning the money how you can save the money after saving the money how you can invest the money in places that it will bring you cash flow you break all this down into pieces okay so what are prin principles and today we talk about it principle that you have to follow before you can be worthy. Okay. And these are not taught in our schools. Okay. So the book that I read, I'll teach you how to become rich. Mm. That one is built for Americans. So they are talking about credit card, mortgage, and those, those kind of stuff. Blah, and blah, those blah, systems blah. are not here. Those <laughs> so structures and the, those uh, it's totally different product. system. Mm. So when I'm reading, if after reading, practicing what he taught you in that book, five years time, and you are not able to make something significant by following it. Come back, I will pay it for you. You know, or, 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 do you know the reason? Money sure. written by one of the doctor, Doctor uh, Olamide. Uh -huh. Yes, and the guy, uh, what he has been, what he has said, and looking at my environment where I come from and people around, some people, I have realized that in the future, if we don't take care, we'll continue to suffer. Exactly. Why? Because we are not creating any wealth. Though. It's only oh get get the money or in the money just feed yourself like hand to mom at the end of the day that's all and how about if it got to a time you are not able to work again well, i have one man called mr obin Dako. okay and if you listen to this man if you watch his video right mm. watch his video his audios for for one month and you don't have a shift in mind you, then then i don't know what kind of human being you are <laughs> <laughs> i i think so I, because he, he what he's doing here mm. is more than miracles i don't it's think really, what, what that man is doing mm. i don't think any pastor on earth will be able to do that mm. Mm. what's up lovely people village boy here thank you so much for making time and of course uh, we are here to educate you entertain you and inform you and today we'll be speaking on the topic financial education i have a resource person here he's going to be educating us because he has the knowledge in financial education eric you're welcome thank you bro you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> i want to put you into pressure man sure, sure sure okay eric you've been on our platform for a very long time so there's no need for introduction can i do the introduction yeah you can, you can do it all right so eric is a final year student at the university of cape coast and is the ceo that is chief executive officer of tech for everyone and uh, it's knowledgeable Yes, that's what I have to say. <laughs> There's lots to you know talk about. Eric, today we are talking about financial education, sure. and I know that you have an in-depth knowledge in, when it comes to financial education. So we just want to understand first of all, tell us the meaning of financial education. Then you are going to take us through everything that we're supposed to know on this platform. Okay, so um, I just want to clarify this that um, I don't have in-depth knowledge. You know, I see I see myself <laughs> to be a student of life. Okay. And I, I've seen I've seen that I'm going to learn till I die. Okay. Right. So I won't get to a point that will be like I know everything. Mm. Right. So it's more like I'm learning, and it doesn't mean to be a guru in something before you start educating people on that. Exactly. And I think that's what I've been doing a lot. Is uh, even in the IT world, right? So what we are going to do here is not like I'm a guru or something like that, but just that. It's a learning process that I've realized that so many students mm. don't have that knowledge. So I'll use this platform to um, educate them the little that I know. The little that you know. So you ask financial education. Yeah, financial education. That okay. could take us through like the practical way of so that our people get the concept. Yeah. Okay, so financial education, unfortunately, mm. this is one uh, yeah. this is one education that is taken intentionally taken out from our school okay yeah so you go to school from um class one to university you spend almost 12 years um 15 years 20 years in school and not even a single topic is teaching you how to so financial education mm. what it entails like how you can earn money after earning the money how you can save the money after saving the money how you can invest the money in places that it will bring you cash flow you break all this down into pieces okay so what i'm trying to say is that it's more like it's in our culture that we don't teach people how to make money meanwhile the reason why you came to school is to finish and get no be not you are creating a job okay. but get employed and be paid 
that's the reason why you're here yeah so I, I was the other time i was i was listening to something and someone said if you are coming to school mm. and after completion they are saying that you are not you are not going with a certificate how will you feel will you be okay after coming to school you are not going you know after finishing you are not going with certificate how it means you? that you didn't come to school so the thing is it's more like we are here not to learn <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's not a point what i'm trying to say is that financial education mm. is how you organize your finances the money that comes to you how you organize it how you multiply it through investments mm. so this is typical example of financial, financial education uh, you know this let me ask this question because i think it's very important financial education is it for those who are you know are students or those who have gone through the formal education or those who are done with school or is it for everyone or do or it's only for those who are who didn't go to school like because someone will say that i've been to school i've gone through the formal education the system and so i know what it takes like what is money i understand money i know how to invest it do such persons still need financial education okay so financial mm -hmm. education for my personally unfortunately my my parent didn't teach me that mm -hmm. right but I feel like when you give birth to a kid or a child, being a boy or a girl, mm. at the age of five, you have to be teaching them financial, financial, personal, we call them personal uh, finance. Personal finance. So how, even when you give them money, you know, sometimes even in our culture, mm. you give a, a kid maybe every day, you give the kid five CD to school, you save one CD. I've gotten a point they will, they will take that money from you say you we give you the money to go and spend and you have been saving it so even at that early stage we have been programming you that saving is no good the, there's the money that is given to you you have to eat it all you have to eat it all so what i'm trying to say is that financial education is for everyone and it should be taught intentionally if you if if you are a parent and you are you are not fin financially free or you are not you don't know much about finance automatically you won't teach them because you don't know the essence it, of it it means you don't have the knowledge to and you know. if someone want, want to control you imagine late boy i give you money to buy whatever you do the teacher mm. everything if i call you will you come or not i'll definitely have to come if i tell you to insult someone on the media will you do it or not definitely you do <laughs> because you have been manipulated by money let me give you another example Let's take politics. Now, um, let's take politics. You know, it gets to a time, people go and carry ballot balls. People yeah. go and do all minion stuff that can get them killed. Yes, yes. Do you think if this person or this youth, let me tell you, they use the youths. Yeah. Let, if, do you think if this person was having like 10,000 Ghana CD or 20,000 Ghana CD in, in his bank account? Or in somewhere working for him mm. we do that no there's Why? no way because he's already stable at least stable with his, his or her finance so so this is very crucial i feel like before you can even teach your 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 kid uh english language mm. or how to write you have to teach them financial education oh so every home must so you know adopt why that culture people are teaching. doing hookup let me tell you the reason why uh, the I would say eighty percent of mm. hookup ladies are doing it because they are not financially stable. They can't pay their bills. They can't pay their their rent. They can't even afford mm. the stuff that because they don't. They don't maybe so, have. So so you, are you saying that there's a way to go about money and uh, there's another like you need to seek knowledge to understand how money works or how you can keep money, how you can okay. invest money, like. I just want to understand that okay, whole so thing, like because we are receiving money day in and day out. So it means someone will say that okay, I already ha have the knowledge, you know, when it comes to money or finance or something like that. So I don't need to, I mean, go the extra mile by reading books to really soak myself when it comes to finance. Okay, in our setting, in our, you know, our culture is different. Mm. Our me, my mom taught me that, or my parents taught me that. The basic one, they will tell you that go to, go to school. If you go to school, you get a good job. If you get a good job, you get good salary. You get good salary. You marry. You marry. You buy land. You buy land. You, you build, build. You get some car. 
and that's all and that uh, one, one book that i read it's 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 like you are you are not creating wealth for yourself because when you want to create wealth it means that you should have a machine a, a, a machine or a vehicle that at least will be rotating or exactly. i mean giving you even if you are not working you're still making the money so that's exactly. wealth creation right sure so mm. uh that's what i'm talking about as i am going to talk some some of the things that happen to us mm. that's how that's like avoiding us to learn about money mm. so as i said you go to school you get married you that's all that's what the the society is saying that someone is rich that's what they are yeah. defining when you go to church they also tell you that pay tight mm. the 10 percent that you pay pay collection yeah and when you sow seed you will get money these are these are some of the that they tell you that mm. without no you having any any knowledge about financial education this is what they are telling you and someone also say that um some some of the you they say that they will make wealth in betting mm. This are so all... don't you think it's possible to make money in those uh, companies? Okay, so so go and people do... are making a lot of money, bro. Okay, so go and do your check. <laughs> go and check. Uh, uh, maybe let me use uh, the billionaires, mm -hmm. right? I, my, I have one friend who is into betting, and I say, good, you can bet, but for you to make money or build wealth in uh, in betting, you have to own the betting company. Oh, really? So the thing is, imagine. Okay, let me give another one scenario about betting. Mm. I'm a company. I said that okay, uh, bring me thousand, right? Mm. I'll see it on the air. Now I have maybe one million followers. Uh, bring me thousand. I'll double it for you. And all of you brought that thousand. So it's like a look to something, mm. a betting something. And I said that okay, all of you maybe uh, five hundred thousand. Give me thousand Ghana cities. And I'm like okay. Then, when I multiply, I'm getting millions of CDs. Mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, the person that won is getting ten thousand. Okay, okay, okay. So it means that so the money, that. the money that is being like uh, the person received is even way higher than the person who is going to win. What do you call it? So, so these are all mind games. It takes a lot for the for the average Ghanaian or the youth out there to tell to you no know, money. You have to follow a principle. So there's a principle build, there's, to a, that. there's a principle just like you can't just wake up that you, you skip ghs and you are going to ss you can't just finish uh primary six and you are saying that i'm going to ss one mm -hmm. you can't just finish uh ghs and you are saying i'm going to university you have to pass through that process and some people want wealth uh we call it instant gratification mm. they want the thing that so someone may uh, eric are you rich no i'm not rich but i'm building it it's, it's a step it's a, by it's a like, process. just like we are building uh where the a house it takes 10 years mm. if you want to be financially stable it take just like 10 years to build multiple streams of incomes so maybe you want to go into farming after the farm you make a huge amount of money you put half of that money you put it into maybe uh retailing mm. you get into maybe five years four years you see some money you put it into construction uh, building for rent and other stuff so we have prin principles and today we'll talk about it principle that you have to follow before you can be worthy okay and these are not taught in our schools okay so um i i said i, I read a lot of books mm. so if you really want to learn about money i'll give one one guy that you have to follow and after this i'll give you some six books that i'll recommend everyone should read and okay. be financially okay free. We'll, we'll be grateful for sure. you know sure for so you there is a process us. to follow mm. uh, and what i said uh culture we are saying that when you pray to god god will give you money no mm. god has given you the knowledge let me tell you the the power of the brain just look at this thing have you think of wi-fi yeah the wi-fi wi-fi is a wireless something mm. you just come here and connect to wi-fi so if you are not knowledgeable or if you don't know you say that wi-fi is a spirit yeah definitely you claim that it's a spirit that is somewhere that's somewhere that manipulating things. that's the power of the brain people have like you know people are thinking they are using their brain to think but some people are also telling us that we should wait you know mm. immediately you hear that wait and someone supernatural will do something for you then you are also relaxed <laughs> and i think one one thing that can actually build your mental faculties reading books exactly a, because if i want to strengthen my muscle here 
I will be giving it, all right? I'll be lifting something way heavier than exactly. expected and to, to, to develop that. So if I'm reading, it means that I'm building my knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. And one thing that I've realized that some people say Ghana, Africa is hard. Mm. It's more like we have 50 kg of maybe a block mm. and you can't carry it. The reason why you can't carry it is that, is that you don't have the strength. Okay. So until you build that capacity that that, that strength i'm talking is is in is the, the head is the mind uh, you know the the real battlefield is in the head that's in the mind mm. the real battlefield is it, so someone may be physically uh, disabled mm. but mentally strong very strong so the real battlefield is in the head so someone the same ghana one person you see like We'll be seeing things from different points like Ghana, there's opportunity here, mm. there's this year. Another same Ghanaian. We we'll also say there's no there are no so opportunities. Someone have built that strength to live that 50. That someone have built that strength mm. to be able to even live 10 uh, 100 kg weights. And someone can't even lift one kg. They are all based on what they are feed the brain with. Imagine if you go to our internet. The reason why, like, I like your personality is that you are promoting something. You mm -hmm. know, when you when you go to our, our internet, especially the Ghanaians, eighty percent of the content that we put there is the content that will make you negative about even the continent as a whole. Mm. The thing is, in the midst of all this, that's what people are watching. You know, I have one man called Mr. Obindako. Okay, and if you listen to this man, if you watch his video, right? Mm. Watch his video, his audios for for one month, and you don't have a shift in mind, you, then then I don't know what kind of human being you are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so I, because he, he what he's doing here mm. is more than miracles. I don't it's think really, what, what that man is doing. Mm. I don't think any pastor on earth will be able to do that. Mm. Mm. Take it from me. Because he is giving what we need as an African. It's not only Ghana. He's giving what we need. It's more like the African people, they have injected some, some, some diseases into us. I think uh, new <laughs> colonial, uh, uh, colonization, is it? Yeah. Colonization and that kind of thing is still uh, how the, the whites or the Western world has brainwashed us is still so, you know, manifesting in, us, in, the our, thing is, in our lives. Let me make this analogy. Africans don't see opportunity here. So Africans are traveling outside. They are selling their properties. Someone have a farm, yeah, yeah, buildings. So sell it. They are selling it and going there. And the white two are coming here. And the thing is, the worst part of it is when they go there, they are going to look for a job. Mm. That, so the thing is, the white, they build corporations. Let, let me check if the thing is recording. Because we don't want the situation. Okay. So, um... The whites, mm. right? Yeah, you know, the whites have injected us this colonization. They have enslaved that. Now we are still we are still enslaved because why are you saying that? Where you were born, where you were born. Let me tell you, where you were born, that's where your greatness is. Yeah, definitely. Because you know, you are you are you are very great. Mm. Now you are advocating for your so it's your sole responsibility. Village boy, it's your sole responsibility to help those uh, village people. Imagine saying Kedu Kotu be Fufra, Ebi and Kedu, whole different story. Mm. But I say, so you have, you have to get into a point and you will say, wherever you are, it matters what you know, not where you live. You can live in America, UK, everywhere, and still be poor. Mm. It matters what you know. That's why. The other time, if you, are, you haven't watched our video, personal development mm. is very important. You need to That's go why you have to watch develop it. yourself personally. Me, I listen to audio books every, every day, especially from Mr. Minda. So that you build The reason your... why I like the man so much is that I like reading books. After meeting him, I've read a lot of books. I remember I read uh, one book. It was, I'll teach you how to become rich. Mm. So take it this far from me. The okay. reason why I like that man so much. The thing is, I haven't read any book that they will tell me that Go and farm cassava, uh, cassava mm. and do it well. Do it in a business-wide way. And it can be, build you, uh, it can make you millions. I haven't read in any book that they are telling that go and farm, go and real pigs. Do it with the right knowledge and it will, build you, it will make you billions. When you read all these foreign books, 
fine they will teach you something but it's not applied here so let me backtrack to the book that i read i'll teach you how to become rich mm. that one is built for americans so they are talking about credit card mortgage, those, those kind of stuff blah, and blah, those blah, systems blah. are not here <laughs> Those so you see that and those, uh, it's totally different product. system. Mm. So when I'm reading the man book, this book, um, Streamline, okay. I'll teach you how to, uh, how to teach yourself money. Mm. When you read the book, when, immediately when you finish the book, the content that you pick from the book, you can just put it in the environment and, and it seamlessly. <laughs> That's beautiful. beautiful. I just want you to share with us the principles of money, so okay. that because it's very important to me. I, I also want to learn something, all right? Sure. Because uh, I love to upgrade, and exactly. so far as I'm seated here with you, I'm I, I'm open to learn all those kind of things, and as well as our, our viewers as well. Okay, so the principle of money. The first the first thing that I would say is that based on the, my personal uh, mm. and some of the stuff that I read, first of all, you have to make the money. Mm. So no when the kind of educational system that we are we are running on mm. is is built by us but it's not run by us it is built by us but, but it's not run, run by so us. what, what you tell mean? yourself what uh what you consume who who designed that we just come in and follow the system so a system builds yes and the white built it the mm. western world built it and they don't teach you anything to become great they will teach you they will teach you just enough for you to just work for them. Mm. So the thing is, when we go to these schools, we think that someone should employ us. Fine, if you have the industries, you have our our country having go through that industrialization. Let me tell mm. you, Africa as a whole, the whites, this is what they did. They wanted to always import stuff here. They will, so let me give you chocolate. Uh, uh, the cocoa that we, we are calling ourselves, we are the biggest producer mm. of cocoa. They intentionally said that, okay, you guys produce the cocoa. They will, so they will make you the best producer of cocoa and they will go and build the factory there. So Instead you, of them to build it <laughs> so here. go too. to England, one, one of my guys, we call Yawapia. He said that he went to England, England and England doesn't have one tree of cocoa, but they have factories for cocoa. That's the cocoa product, that's the mm. cocoa. Cocoa beans. How come? So the thing is, our country having gone through this industrialization. So when you complete school, you the course that you what you read kind of is is administrative works. Mm. And Africans, we need to implement more engineering works so that we can build the industry that can produce. So without these industries, we can't employ much. That's what you know mm. because the the more employment that you get from the in that uh, maybe we call factory workers laborers mm. that's why you get more people employed yeah but we don't have that system so, so meaning you know, there are a lot there's going to be a lot of unemployment so if like, there is 100 students who are graduating day mm. today only three people get employment that one's based on favoritism based on i know someone yeah, somewhere protocols here and so there. there's seven you have to excuse me you have to build so i always say that train students you one thing this is what i'm saying out there mm. when you are you are students or when you're a lecturer when you're training students don't tell them and when, don't teach them and tell them to hope that when they complete they should get good cv because they are going to get a job no tell all your students that there's no job so whatever you are doing learn some entrepreneurship skills mm. and do for yourself so let me take you from there that the principle uh first of all we have to end but the reason why i brought the working the students mm. inside is that most of us when you complete school we don't get job to do okay let me tell you you are not better than someone who is selling co uh, uh, tomato in the uh, the market okay so far as you have you have completed degree it doesn't mean you are you are better you than are them better than them okay so and it doesn't matter how you start so me myself if i complete school today mm. and it takes me carrying pure water. Mm. I, um, I, I call myself the uh, graduate. Okay. IT. But I didn't get anything to do. Or I don't find anything to do. And it takes me to sell pure water mm. for the start. I will do it. But two years time, you come and you won't see me selling that pure water. Maybe I've, I've turned into maybe uh, into different, uh, 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 maybe pure water such as okay. the such as one producing it. Okay. That's the mindset that African, every African should get because the job is not there. So that's how you can make money. Mm. When you complete school, don't wait for the government. Don't wait for destiny, destiny helper. The ladies do call something destiny helper. Yeah. Don't wait on God. God has given this brain. Mm. What this brain can do, 
you have no knowledge it's up to you to put in good information you are watching could you share you are watching this you are watching this fine when I, get money, <laughs> I always tell you this <laughs> wait when could you share i will subscribe to his channel mm. no problem I'll subscribe, but i have to be rich first mm. so i have to feed myself with the that could content that will make me rich when i'm filthy rich then I can entertain myself. So mm -hmm. I'll come and enjoy Kojo Shedding channel. I'm not saying you should enjoy someone's channel. Mm -hmm. But, you know, exclusion for you now, you, need now to build, you can't entertain someone who is in poverty. There's no way. You are, you are in poverty. You're always watching football. Fine, if you build billions, and this is what the information that we need to lift our people. So you have to first end, mm -hmm. right? So you that's the them. ending. Yeah. So if you don't get a job, don't say that I'm not even finding a way to end. Go grounds find a problem, uh, design a solution to it, package that solution into how I sell this solution okay. uh, for, a, for, for a money. Mm. First, you are done with the ending. Mm. When, when you do it, money will come. Try to save. Don't live above your means. Blade Boy, every year you get maybe uh, five Ghana cities. Mm. You have to find a ways that you eat three cities and save two cities. Mm. Some people will say that it's not enough. So they have to squander everything. Let me tell you, Village Boy, uh, you are NSS. Mm. How much are they paying you? Seven, seven one five. Let's say eight hundred cities, mm. right? And you now you have been employed, and they are giving you four thousand. As for me, you were giving seven eight five. You were okay with it, mm. and you see how you are minimizing your life to fit that. Yeah, to fit. If you want to make money, when they are giving you four thousand. Use that same 800 CD budget strategy. <laughs> this is a very serious insight you're making here. This is a very serious one. So, very, very serious one. And so I think our viewers need to be very careful. Like, they have, even if they don't watch any part of this, video, this particular thing, or they don't get strike your bills, right? Use this very well because, my goodness. So, so it means you know, that you're making 715, and later on, you had a job and they're being for now. You still need to find a way to think if you want to be free. If you want to be free. <laughs> so, you know, people and don't try to to look rich be rich but don't look rich i, mean, I don't want to look rich too. someone will be like eric you are always selling and you are not i don't care you know charlie the money making is a lifelong uh, you mm. i'm doing this for like 20 years and that 20 years i'm going to be free all of, of my life so I, I need to put in the work when i'm young exactly. so late boy, what i'm trying to say is that try to minimize so you say you are taking 500 cities you are in maybe you are sharing a room with someone mm. you say 800 cities right you are sharing a room mm. with someone therefore time you go and hire apartment means that there's this law parkinson law good it says that the month's expense will definitely rise to meet the you know the, the income De decrease that thing <laughs> debunk that law <laughs> and you realize that okay fine now when i was taking 800 cities I was so it's people be like I can't save, I can't save. When you are taking eight and say you were able to mm. even oh they let's take you don't know how to save. Fine. You were taking eighteen eight and you don't have a girlfriend, you don't buy something, you don't buy something, you are doing you eat fine. But you're okay with that life. But just like you don't have that money. Mm. They are giving you four thousand. You there upgrade your life. But come to thousand. Mm. Come to that you can survive for like you can, five years. You can, yeah, you can still survive. So, so meaning still, that the first principle is find a way to earn the money. money. Second, earning them after earning the money, find a way to save it. Good. And live within your means. Exactly. How many principles do we have so that we know how to Okay, so maybe four. Mm. Four. So after you, you know you so let's say now you are chopping a uh, thousand. I'm making it practical, you said mm. it right. Yeah, practical. So thousand, practical. maybe every day thousand, thousand. Every man thousand thousand. Then you are saving three thousand. It's it's huge. Mm. Someone can choose. Not everyone can do that. Someone can be like, I'll save thousand. Okay. It is fine. Someone said that I can save hundred cities. It's fine. It shouldn't be. You shouldn't. But I'm just saying from your point of view. You said you are taking eight hundred cities. Seven one. And you are not dying. Like you're okay. Yeah. Like you look how beautiful you are. Mm. You're okay with that. Yeah. So I'm saying that okay. You maybe after getting a proper job, you you go like let's say let's say two thousand. Mm. But maybe now you have to look. Fine, you have to get a coat and other mm. stuff. Fine, two thousand. Save two thousand every month. Save two thousand every month. You know, some people complain that their money is not enough. They have to cut down their expenses. And let me tell you another money trick. You have to automate your. Uh, some people, you have to automate your investment and uh, manually um, check your um, spendings. So let's say, let me take those who are using credit card. I've been mm. using debit card. The mm. thing is, you have subscribed to so many stuffs. 
So immediately, let me chip in the uh, tight. Okay. So every month they will deduct it. You have automated that. Okay. So that one, I said, you know that you have to do it. Mm. But you, and then on also automate it. Automate your investment. Okay. okay. So scan bar. Yes. So strategy when say scan bar, it could be did that. And you maybe not going to as I say, to nine. So I don't know whether you, you heard this. So many people make mistakes. Mm. Say they are, uh, when they, they get money, they get a job, they build a house. Building a house is not a bad thing. But the thing is, you have to build, first of all, the first thing that you have to do is you have to build something, investment. Mm. The house that you, be, you are building to sit, stay inside. That's, it can lock your business. Someone you even start a business, when the business is making money, mm. then you dump that money into. No, if you are making, you have started, uh, maybe uh, pure business and making you money. Think of building branches. You don't use your hard earned money to build. You don't use your hard earned money to build. build. You just build that. what like house to so build house. Build a or? house. If you are building the house for rent, that is totally different. Mm. But we don't build. You don't use your hard earned money. So, but this is very practical. After you getting the money, mm. so the next thing that we talk about is investment. Yeah. So after you saving that. Two thousand. Let's say you are getting part time. Mm. You are spending two thousand. Uh, you are saving two thousand. That two thousand. When you get ten thousand, or when you get hundred thousand, don't take that money. Some of them go and buy land mm. and start building. No, it's a it's a financial error. And I can say I can testify that most people will do that. After getting hundred thousand, you can take maybe ten thousand open bomo business. Take ten thousand. Uh, plant some uh, cocoa. Mm. Take uh, 10,000 plants. This invest, uh, it will, there will be some. Uh, ad, you have to gain knowledge about where you don't just throw your money into mm, the forest, to, gain knowledge, learn okay. on YouTube and other stuff. Okay, a time will come mm. so that the investment portion of the money principle, mm. a time will come. You realize that money will start coming to you. That money, if it comes, use that money to invest in other things. <laughs> Money okay. will start coming to you. Use that, then a time will come. So it's like you are building a hierarchy. Empire of money. You are sending money to go and work for you and bring you the money. So you shouldn't, that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't use your hard, your hard end money to build. So you get to a time 10 years, 15 years, then the money can pile up. So you take like 1 million Ghana CD, build. <laughs> then you are free. <laughs> then so the streams is coming. That's where you become wealthy. Wow. <laughs> so that's where the cash flow comes inside. The cash flow is like now the cash is flowing, comes, cash is flowing, then you're pushing it. If you want your great gang people to also come and enjoy your labor, push the money, push the money. Don't buy like don't and try to impress people. You know, some people get money, they want everyone. This is one of the saddest things mm. about financial mistakes that people do. They want people to like them. They want to be seen that like they, they want to be also, uh, They are also there. I know, was in I that was... situation, but I've stopped all those stuff. I'll be like, <laughs> I will live like a poor. But in my accounts, it's looking nice, at least at my age. Yes, because <laughs> one thing we must understand is that if you have the money and you are investing it properly, later on we are going to enjoy. And there, I've never seen anyone who has... In, like who impress people you know and the such person is being paid like, nobody nobody like you are impressing people i have the latest car i have this house and that nobody will pay you for that so it's 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 it is it will be good for you to invest such money and rather i mean channel your energy into your finances and so that at the end of the day you'll be able to create what because let me let me say this okay sure I've, I've been reading some books so that's school of money sure. written by one of the doctor uh, Dr. Olamide, Olamide uh -huh, Ima Nigeria. yes and the guy what he has been what he has said and looking at my environment where I come from and people around some people I I've realized that in the future if we don't take it we'll continue to suffer exactly. why because we are not creating any wealth though. it's only oh get, get the money or in the money just feed yourself like hand to mouth exactly. at the end of the day that's all and, and how about if it got to a time you are not able to work again now if you stop working it means that no one is going to pay you but the other time i said something i said you uh you cannot be there is no freedom if you are not financially free yeah that's why i said i said initially that if i give you everything i can mm. manipulate you 
I can tell you that go and do this, go and rip this. And that's how people are doing. If they, they can so uh Obinako says something in this book, uh, mm. that uh, say someone can control you when the person control your mind, your time and your money. So these three things your so, mind, your time and your, your money. money. If someone take even one of it, the person is controlling you, controlling you. And that's why uh, I don't want to go to the national level, but that's why the white is controlling us because we are always going for them for IMF. We are going yeah. to take money. If you take money, they, they they are controlling. They are going to tell you what to use the money for. They are going to. So it's very important. This this topic is not at anywhere. Mm. So that's why I'm saying if you are youth, follow people. So another thing is so the maybe principles you have to follow people who are there who have made it. Mm. Some people have made it, but they didn't use it the right way. Imagine, um, I'm not saying this to maybe tarnish anyone's job, but imagine a pastor giving money advice. Fine, some pastors are wealthy, they have built some. Mm. But what happened in the church every day? We, the, we are saying that the pastor don't work. Mm. So because of his, his preach, he preached the sermon, the, he get tight and other stuff, yeah. for other stuff. So, so that's how we say. So if your pastor is not having any business that built from scratch, and he's giving you money advice. Then <laughs> it, it will not su sustain. <laughs> see people. You see someone, uh, a lingo that go there, or being that con despite. They are giving you advice. You see, mm. they've uh, been uh, through uh, the process. Uh, 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 Kennedy, Japan. Mm. Uh, 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 Magdan, Mr. Daniel. When I give you advice, you see that these people they have worked hard for their money. Yeah. And it's totally different. So that's why I said that if you are out there, whether you are an African, follow Obendako. Obendako. Follow Obendako. that guy. Like it's not an option. Obendako. If you really want to be successful. If you really want to be successful. He do uh, he he has been having a Saturday section, right? Of late I'm not able to join, but I I listened to that section. Mm. Almost, I have about hundred of the audios. Okay. I listen to it every day, like every day I listen to it, mm. and I'm. That's why I'm always. You can't stop me. You know, when you have the knowledge, you are unstoppable. Yeah, definitely. It's not like oh, people who say oh yeah, guy, girl, you see, but mm. that's how it is. Yeah, I'm. I'm awakening, and I'm just doing what I have supposed to do to help my people and help myself. Amazing. So that's the principle of money and I so think it is helpful. You can The principles it. of money you made mention of uh, first of all you need to um make the money you earn, you invest or save and then uh, the cash flow you the cash reinvest. flow too you reinvest so these are the four principles that he shared with us now and i believe that uh, those of you watching us you are learning something very important here this is financial education you will not get it in anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> in ghana here a lot of things happens on social media uh, and, you know negative stuff strengths even faster and those things are not adding any value to your mental and, faculty uh, but on this platform i just want let me tell them sure. on this platform we make sure that we educate you. We make sure we make sure we educate you properly. We add value to your life. And that's what we do here. We don't entertain any explicit or any excuse my language, any nonsense here. Yeah, we don't <laughs> we don't we don't entertain <laughs> such things. Sure, Aside sure. advocating for villages, this is what we do. You see, if I'm not proud of what I do, I cannot customize this t-shirt like this village sure, boy sure. and this is a, is a very resourced person here it's like how how we met <laughs> only god knows <laughs> sure, let's let's continue with the conversation about the financial education i'm loving this whole section because i'm learning a lot uh, the strategies you've shared you've shared with us and i've, I've taken my own it's inside <laughs> my pocket i have a head right now because you know if I should start sharing a, a testimony with you right now, we wouldn't even end the video, video because one of my friends is called Mark Pius. Mark Pius would not let you sit down without reading. Mark Pius will tell you the benefit of reading. Mark Pius will, will, you know, will encourage you, will motivate you and tell you that read about everything. About, read books that will add wisdom to your mind. So Mark Pius, I owe you a lot of thanks. Yes. And I think uh, Mark Mark Tewin says something. Mm. I say a man who reads, right? Um, a man who cannot read um, is almost equal to a man who knows how to read but don't read. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a straight bullet too. So if 
you know how to read but you don't read you are equally like someone who don't know how to read so it means that it is it's like you come to school after school you decided that i'm done with school so there's no way i'm going to read any book you feel like you are full. It, mean, uh, it means that <laughs> you are full package to success that's look at your results you have done you are completed school 10 years look at your results always look at your am i okay i'm all okay with my life if not that means you don't know so something. meaning that we need to be hungry for wisdom knowledge every day we need to be seeking for it blade boy you are doing always in a farm yeah every morning what do you do to your calculus before you you read i sharpen it very well <laughs> <laughs> so the same, the same thing that happens to the mind. You need to sharpen it. And even with, with reading books on, on these very important topics, it actually encourages you. It makes you confident. It makes you have the power over the thing you are saying. Exactly. And when you stand before you know larger audience, you are able to communicate effectively. Exactly. Right? You are able to tell them that this is what is supposed to be done then this is how it's going to be done and this is how the result that we're expecting in the end but if you don't read when you're talking it's like you are not certain like you are not <laughs> you are not <laughs> and the funny thing about we the youth is that you know especially the africans mm. we we you know when the western world are playing we don't have to play because we have a lot to do the western world when they are they are playing mm. when they you know the entertainment is for the western world Look at China. China is not playing. You know. They are not playing at China, all. China, they are developing the mind. You know, the mind, the mind is more like uh, God. Let's say God created us, and the thing that He gave us is the mind. Look at what people are doing. They are traveling to Mars. They are traveling, doing something, and so anything that devoids you from using the mind. It means that you are you are you are even progressing. Like this, this, let me tell you some of the things that's that stop developing our mind, and uh when you pray everything is done and uh spiritual no it's it affects the mind because imagine village where you are here and i'm telling you that um your destiny when when you do this that's where your destiny mm. comes pray to god it's more like you are going to wait and that's and not, to never manifest and, uh, sometimes i think ah what the white people are they waiting <laughs> <laughs> they gave you the religion they are using the mind they, they, they are thinking thousand years ahead and we are waiting for miracle to be happening it won't happen so, so let's develop the mind okay let's and the, the mind so i said the mind is powerful but until the mind become powerful doing great things what do you feed it with what is in the mind mm. you want to be uh you want to be a billionaire how many billionaires that you have read about how many books have you read about money what you are feeding the mind constantly reflects who you are today. So if whatever you are, the people that are, they are working around, mm. what is the reflection of who they are is what they are fed their mind with. The worth. So if, if you are there you are poor like myself, which you are building wealth mm. in the future, if you are poor like myself, that means you don't know, you don't know it all. If you are in debt, that means you don't know it all. You need to learn, learn and, and renew your, your mind. mind amazing the books that you told us that you're going to share with us i'm okay. very much interested because <laughs> right now we are students of books we read books books is one of our morning rituals and so i would i would be very grateful if you can share those uh, books with us right now okay so um i'm working on a, a site that mm. will be published maybe um it's more like a help promote uh locally produced goods um i'm more like i love africa okay i love i love to see africa unite so i like to promote everything african so maybe onto that i i'll be posting african books mm. that people can buy okay so one person that i'll tell you to follow right is obin dakon obin dakon obin dakon obin dakon that guy he i said it's i'm saying the work that he's doing no pastor on earth can do that mm. take it from me so his book read all of them he has seven books i'm going to mention them okay let's you can, go you can i i maybe i'll put um okay so uh, we have african advantage african advantage so you know the african have been taught that th there is nothing in africa mm. and until you know some people until they think they can be successful until they travel okay Obu, Obu, I'll say, he's going and get capital <laughs> capital mm -hmm. if you start small here you can get that capital and do whatever i want to do okay so we tell you the the things that we have as an african he, he harness on that you also have streamline okay you know what happened i bought 
five of his book. Okay. <laughs> and my my brother in law is called War War Young Money. Shout out to Young Money. Okay. He I gave him uh, three of them to read. If not, I, I should have bring all of them. Mm. And he, he bought it. <laughs> You, you, bought bought a, you bought a book and you, know, you just you like read the white books, but you know, the white books is based on their system. Mm. So if you get an African book, it's different. So that's what I like about being like, so African Advantage, uh, streamline, streamline, streamline mm. how to teach yourself money. It's more like financial education. That's why I brought it. Okay. Financial okay. education. That's what being like books that I'm mentioning. Um, personal development, the other time I showed yeah. you the, the book, you had book on personal development, it has financial freedom financial intelligence they also have unlimited opportunity okay so that's for obin daku book get okay. all of them and read them if after reading practicing what he taught you in that book five years time and you are not able to make something significant by following it come back i will pay it for you <laughs> you know or, or, do you know the reason why i'm, I'm serious about this because when you are you are successful i'm successful we are growing as a nation yeah it's a collective. I'm not happy if like I'm succeeding and my, my people are swallowing swallow in poverty. Mm. That's not a good thing, but so many people too want to, that kind of recognition. And I believe if, before you can even make wealth or create wealth, you need people. You I mean, alone can. Something. There's no way one or singleton person can become wealthy, you know, without I mean, depending on, you know, network or, exactly. you know, uh, people. I mean, I could say something. He said, um, Someone asked him, he mm. was doing a program, someone asked him, when you say someone is powerful, who, who is powerful? But then could, the answer, I was thinking, I was like, ah, is this man a human being? <laughs> the thing is, you see, he has read a lot. So, and so he's advanced. Like, let's, say, let's say um, those kind of AI we are seeing on the market now, we are seeing him to be very intelligent. All right, it's human beings that you know program yeah, those things. Uh, so those been. people have advanced in yeah. wisdom and knowledge, and so Ben Dako is of no exception. He's a man of uh, of the book. So, sure. you know what? so he said that for someone to be called a powerful person is how many people have this person help people to become powerful. I was like, wow. <laughs> So if you are calling yourself some spiritual man and you are powerful, powerful and and you are your, 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 your audience or the people that listen to you, they are poor, then there is a question mark there. Mm, it means that you are, you are you not powerful. You have to raise a generation that they, they, they think for themselves. And you also say something that uh, the best help that you can do to someone is to teach the person how to fight. The best help, teach them how to fight. To pick an example, if you come to my place to take money. So if I'm not there, it's more like you are not going to leave. Mm. So I teach you that village boy, before you can make money, go and do this, go and do that, go and do this, go and do that. Two years time, village boy is making his own money. No. Now I'm a powerful person because I have taught you how to become powerful. Very simple. And that is the best way of making money. That's the best way you can help someone. So now I've seen that if I, if you is asking me money, if I give you money, I'm not helping you to become powerful. The powerful is that I'll teach you how to make money so that you, you won't come to me for help again. For help again. And you made mention of one thing that it really got me very well is you said that if someone is came to you to ask for money and you gave the person money without teaching the person how to was it I forgot, like how to make the money or something like that. It means that you are rather killing the person. Exactly. I don't know if you can uh, tell us like I've, I've, i saw it on your yeah. whatsapp start or sure. something like that okay so um the thing is everyone you know their brain every brain is powerful mm. and if that brain is con conditioned that uh media i can't do anything and uh, and the spirit the spiritual something is also part of mm. hey, so be the no, mm. there is some principle that you have to follow. The principle that I'm sharing, and yeah. that you have to be wealthy. So was our kind of If you are a Muslim, if you are an atheist, if you Whatever don't believe you in are. God, if you don't do anything, if you are a mad person, and you can, if you are a mad person, and you can follow this principle, do it step by step, regardless of who you are. So. A more being can you say sky is spiritual. No, sky is a principle. Follow, follow, follow. And you must know the so rules. Let me, let me let me end up with what you uh, said. So 
when you always come and take money from me i'm avoiding you building that brain muscle of making it your own mm. making some for your own what did i say mm. so it's more like i'm i'm avoiding you of seeing how you can labor for your own money okay so teaching you the money mm. it's like it's like I've, you are four and i just hold you up i say run you are going to win the champion so maybe you can even surpass me that's how you create great people you can even create people and you shouldn't be envy if like i'm teaching you and you become mm. you know it's a network it's not like because you have become worthy i'm becoming poor no things like we are all growing together and that's why the white fight do they have the white have they been, collaborate and do things like and they have created you know look at you let me use this as an example europe mm. all europe europeans mm. are using one currency they are using one passport they intentionally divided africa so that we can't even work among ourselves mm. how many of africans is thinking to go to nigeria to start a business there how many of mm. africans is thinking to go to south africa or malari or mm. to start a business there everyone is thinking going to that because they have promoted africa as a poor country and they are they have big big companies mining our goals and they are taking it out there and they are building heaven and some of us also praying to go to the heaven that they are building yeah i see if if you are you some most of us are saying outside is heaven then that's heaven mm. and we have to create our own heaven here exactly if you are not able to create it automatically here is hell exactly sure. exactly eric we we've been, we've been you know speaking for a while now and i think all the things that you've said or your submissions my viewers or those who are following us will learn something if they don't learn anything we will still keep up with a good job sure, because sure. here like i said we are not here to entertain any bad thing but uh, things that will add value to the lives of our audience those who believe who trust and will follow us on, on on this platform so if you have any final words that you can share with us uh, i'll be grateful okay i want to also touch on african dignity mm. you know um i haven't went outside before though but according mm. to some people that are listening from obindako platform obindako i'll keep on mentioning his name because it's more like now my my roommates here yeah, call me you obindako. and you know the kind of thinking when you think that way and do stuff that way now they they start and if you're an african you are not cursed mm. some african think that they are cursed some african think they are not enough okay all you need is the required knowledge don't spend your time on unnecessary knowledge i'm seeing that entertainment you don't entertainment someone is poor if you're an african you are rich you can find some entertainment mm. watch some videos can follow some people who promote entertainment but if you check your pockets and you don't have much then you have to do things that will make you that money before you entertain you don't entertain someone who is poor so if an african you're poor like me you have to always sharpen your brain about money about entrepreneurship about business and don't expect uh, in, uh call it um in instant gratification mm. it, it takes time it takes time so be think long term take risks mm and work with positive-minded people network oh. with right people okay and you'll be fine you'll be fine all right so thank you so much for your time <laughs> all right so this is village boy and this is village boy youtube channel subscribe follow us and be part of us 24 7. it is very imperative for everyone to read to sharpen your mental property don't wait till it is too late <laughs> too late so make sure you read Reading is good for your health. Sure, sure. Read or bend that books. Read right? or bend that and other books. I, fo I, fo I, I just want them to hear it from you, but I've been following him. I've also been, you know, listening. You've sent me his audios and those kind of stuff. I've been listening to it. So I'm blessed to have such a very positive man like you. Yeah. So if you want to change your environment, look at the people you work with or you associate with. And at the end of the day, if you look at them and they are also making stride, they are also making positive impacts, right? They are doing something for themselves. You also change. Is that not it? Exactly. We we'll exactly. meet again. Sure, sure, sure.